I came to Bacon's uh, three years ago as a, actually four years ago as a trainee teacher, uh, and I was on my six week placement during my teacher training. Uh, and I came here for six weeks and I can say it was love at first sight. I really enjoyed the, the vibe of the place. I really enjoyed the, the feel of the community and even kids who I did not know before, they just warmed to me. Um, um, I used to be a civil engineer uh, working in the Middle East and I have my kids always ask me, so why would you leave the Middle East as a civil engineer to come to teaching? Um, I really enjoyed it. it was, I'm, I'm really passionate. Uh, passionate as a civil engineer as well, but I think sometimes there is a calling which you have within yourself. Uh, my maternal and my paternal grandmothers were teachers and uh, although everything that I set out to fulfill in the Middle East was achieved, I really felt that there was something more that I would want to ask myself and I'm probably 60 if I'd lived that long. And I, I applied to schools um, all over the world and a school in London said, you know what, why don't you come for an interview? And I said, okay. And I, I came for an interview and they said, we'll give you a role uh, as a trainee teacher. And as luck would have it, I came to Bacon's for, for a six week training and then I got pulled into a whole different world. But it has been a very, very rewarding journey. I, I can say that there is real fulfillment in teaching and there is. Personally, um, I really enjoy teaching children and uh, Bacon's offers a lot of opportunities, to be fair, uh, there have been opportunities for head of year and you know, different roles in the maths department itself. Uh, as, a, as a school, they're always looking forward to like, ask you what do you want to achieve, um, what is your next role that you're looking for. Um, all staff have to take um, at least two to three CPD uh, courses every half term. But apart from that, if you're someone who's looking to improve your practice, improve, looking to improve uh, the way you teach, the way you are, different aspects of your professional uh, lines, there's a lot of opportunities. They're very, very keen on like uh, staff coming up to take CPD. Uh, there's also uh, CPD every term, so the start of every term. There is a, a session run by different teachers. Um, they're also keen on like other staff coming in front to say, uh, what practices are working, what's good for them. There are learning walks every half term and good practice from those learning walks are recorded uh, and shared with the whole, you know, the rest of the staff, which is really good because it gives you an idea on using something that is working in the school and even if it's not in your subject, uh, you can try and take that practice um, into your field. Uh, I teach year 7 to 11 at this moment. I also have a tutor group uh, who I've had from year 7 so I've seen them all the way from you know, the onset of prime, from the time they left primary school um, till now they're in year nine. Uh, I also have a couple of clubs that I run. There's a chess club that I run, a small staff to students uh, football club that I run. Um, we also have like a year 11's intervention group that um, another teacher and I run. I joined teaching because I really enjoy you know, working with with children, I really like to see the overall development, uh, you know, in a child, and you can see them grow. Like I said, I have a tutor group. You can see them grow from the time they're in year seven. And you can see it each year as they, you know, as they grow, they're able to hold a conversation. They're able to, you know, be empathetic. They're able to communicate. They're able to understand social cues. These are these are big things for children, which we don't really measure. Yes, their grades are important, and they need to be successful in their lives, which I think they will. But to see them, you know become better human beings, to see them become, you know.